20 years ago, an unknown writer spoke to God and heard the answers. His book became the greatest inspirational bestseller of all time, and the public has yearned to meet its reclusive author. I've been hoping to meet him. You'd hate him. Hell is other people. I actually sat in his presence. Hey, pretend person. If you're done hallucinating, I'd love a shot at being a customer in this place. You are a disaster, Arlen. It's all meaningless bull... What? Oh! Oh, my back is out! Try asking God for help. Any objection to me being next? We have a real patient. Yay! <laughs> Better? You are so amazing. Thank you, Arlen. Faber. That's Arlen Faber? Who's Arlen Faber? Elizabeth, I would like to uh, go out with you. I would like to go out with you. And I hope you will call me back on my phone. The one here. Fuck. Ready to take control. Thought I heard you out here. Hi, Arlen. Hi, Alex. Great kid. Yeah, thanks. I bet you have some great parties here. Oh, no one has been in here for five years. Why doesn't he want anyone to know who he is? Maybe it's because he's supposed to have all the answers and he's a disaster. <laughs> I don't usually go for walks with people. I can use a little advice every now and then. I'm willing to make you a deal. You make him pay for his questions with books? Totally fair. No, it's not. It's awful. You haven't heard the questions. I'm blowing it again, aren't I? Look, you're complicated and confusing. Alex and I don't need that in our lives right now. Yes, you do. Jeff Daniels. I want her to like me. Lauren Graham. Well, you're still a little out of whack, but you resemble something further along the evolutionary chart. Lou Taylor Pucci. Do I have a destiny, or is it all free will? So your pal Arlen is speaking here today, and I better get busy. <laughs> I'm not a guy with answers. So you're just like the rest of us. Uh, not yet, but I'm trying. The Answer Man. 